hello and welcome to another unboxing today we're doing one of my subscription boxes which is glossy box um, here it is it's quite a well-known beauty box company I think um, there's lots of different subscription packages available the most flexible plan is the rolling one month subscription £13.25 per month and you can cancel at any time or you can pay £11.75 per month but to do that you have to subscribe for a 12 month period there are also some pay up front plans. Three months is £38.25 each three months, six months is £69 and then 12 months is £132. They promise five beauty products each month and their box should be over £50 each month. There are often deals where you can get some uh, money off or free boxes and things like that. I looked on the website, there's currently a deal for 20% off your first box with the code MADE20. There's other benefits that are linked to being a subscriber. You can get credit for completing surveys and you get free priority access to limited editions and some money off as well. So I'm currently tied into a six month subscription. I think my last box is in August and at that point or before that point really I need to decide what I'm going to do. I think I may continue. It's a difficult one with Glossy Box. Some months I really like their boxes and other months not quite that thrilled but it's, it's kind of a, an affordable way of doing things and trying things before uh, you buy them and you can discover some really great products this way so the theme for this month is perfectly imperfect um, I'm going to show you the inside of the box now I have opened it but only to take something out I haven't looked at the products separately yet so I did notice that in the, I, I won't show it, but in the lid of the box, I don't want it to get too bright and bright, there's a mirror in the lid, that's got a bit of plastic on, but there's an actual mirror in the lid. And then also they've put in some little um, positive sort of stickers, which is quite a nice little touch. And what you do get is you get a little uh, scan code, barcode, I can't think what they're called, QR code, QR code. That you can scan that and then you get a link to the magazine so they don't actually have a magazine or a leaflet within the box the box comes like that so it is tied up with a little ribbon and tissue paper and as i said i haven't looked at the products individually i've just gone into the website the online magazine to have a look through make some notes and we'll go through the box together that way so it's a little little bit more exciting for me to do it that way so there's a message from the editor in relation to the theme which says they want us to feel wonderful in our own skin and embrace everything about ourselves including the parts we don't like. They say they've come up with some products to champion this positive outlook. Looks like everybody I think is going to get the same products judging from the um, leaflet online and so I'll go through them one by one. The first product is here and it's by balance me and it's their bha exfoliating concentrate this is a deluxe mini 30 mils worth 10 pound a full size would be 180 mils with an rrp of 26 pounds so i've had a lot of balance me products over my time doing beauty boxes which to be honest is only since last september so it's not that great deal of time but i do like some of their products um in relation to this one, Glossy Box is saying, further love the skin you're in with this BHA exfoliating concentrate, aiding you in removing dead skin cells, battling blemishes and improving hydration, rich in salicylic acid. It's fast acting, fast absorbing and will reveal healthy, radiant layers of skin. So when I first started getting back into skincare after, skincare after a period of quite a long time, um, I was a little bit confused about all the different kinds of ingredients that there are now and one of the confusing things for me was AHAs, BHAs and all these acid things you were putting on your face. So I did do a little bit of research back then um, which I have promptly forgotten so I just reminded myself of it today. So AHAs, uh, which this is not, are alpha hydroxy acid and they are water soluble acids made from sugar fruits. They help peel away the surface of your skin so that new, more evenly pigmented skin cells may generate and take their place. After use, skin feels smoother to the touch. The most common AHAs found in skincare are glycolic acid and lactic acid. Um, they're best concerned 
for those concerned with aging skin and primarily used for mild hyperpigmentation, for example, age spots and scars, enlarged pores, fine lines, surface wrinkles and even skin tone. So although these are usually safe for all skin types, caution is needed if you are, have extremely dry or sensitive skin and you may need to gradually introduce these products into your skincare routine. BHAs, which this is one of, are beta hydroxy acids and are oil soluble and can get deeper into the pores to remove dead skin cells and excess sebum. BHAs are best for those with combination or oilier skin and may struggle with acne, blackheads and the little white bumps you sometimes get under the skin. And the most popular BHA is salicylic acid. So this Balance Me product is more geared therefore to normal to oily skin. So for me, with my dry, drier, sensitive skin, it's probably not something that I would use. And I have tried a product similar to this and it was a little bit too harsh. In fact, AHAs for me can be too harsh. So I am quite cautious with them. I do use them, um, but with caution. So I'm going to have a little sniff because I do know someone who will use this product. So it's not going to go to waste. Yeah, it has a very distinctive smell to a Balance Me product. I don't know whether you've ever smelt it before. I think I saw somewhere it was described as like an orangey smell, which it is, but it's it's something else. It's, it's not my favourite smell in the world. I have to be completely honest with you. Um, but it, it does do the job. I know someone who has used this product actually, and it does, it does help. And so they'll be glad to be getting another one. Okay, the second product is a coffee scrub. And this is by Mini, or Mini Tan, I think, Mini, there you go. Um, it's a deluxe mini at 30 grams, and it says it's worth £9.95, but a full size will be 200 grams with an RRP of 12 95 which that sounds a little bit strange, a bit of a strange difference to me, I don't know. Glossy Box says exfoliate and revitalise your skin with this full body caffeine kick. Buff on freshly ground coffee to smooth your skin and target unwanted dry skin too. In which with ultra hydrating sweet almond and macadamia oils, your skin will be left feeling oh so buttery soft, smooth and glowing. Now, unfortunately for me, I don't like these sorts of coffee scrubs. And I'm just trying to feel it. It does feel like it's going to be one of those messy ones. Um, they just make a right old mess in your shower or bath or whatever you're having um, they do work there's no doubt about that because I have used one but it just made such a mess and it just didn't make the uh, experience very pleasurable so I have used one since which was a sort of a moussey one um, which was a coffee scrub but it was more moussey soft it wasn't so messy and it was fabulous it did did the job perfectly well and I've got quite a lot of that left so I'm going to keep using that don't know what I'm going to do with this one I might give it away or I might keep it for emergency purposes um, but it's unlikely I'm going to be rushing to use this one I'm afraid okay the next one quite interested in this one so it says it's the daily concepts body scrubber full size and the RRP is £16. So Glossy say we couldn't give you a gorgeous body scrub without giving you a super handy body, body scrubber to use it with. Pair this silicone tool with your scrub to not only gently exfoliate the skin but to allow you to enjoy the feeling of a massage you can use it with a body wash as well. So I haven't looked at it yet and it's in a nice box. Nice bright red colour. So if you can see, it's got these little pointy bits on it. And then there's a little finger loop at the back for you to pop your finger into. And press it. Ooh, it is quite, yeah, it feels quite stiff and quite flexible, but stiff. I think that'll do a really good job. I can imagine once it's got some um, shower cleanser or something like that on and it's all lathered up, it will be... It will be quite pleasant to use and I haven't got anything like this I've got some body scrubbers but not very nice ones actually this one feels a little bit nicer so I'm quite excited to try this out and uh, I'll let you know how I get on with that one 
Right, the next product is, here we go, I think it's that way around. So Sophia and Mabel Cream Stick Blush. This is a full size with an RRP of £13. And it says add a beautiful pink tone to your cheeks, even on days when you're feeling stripped back makeup look. With this cream stick blush in the stunning shade blossoming it's perfect for all occasions so again i haven't had a look at this i haven't got it out of the boxes yet right well there we go so we don't know if you can see it let's pull the lid right okay i think i'm going to need my glasses on for this one because i'm not entirely sure what i'm looking at here so it looks like it's straight into the product there is it yeah let's just pop a little bit yeah there we go okay so now for me i'm not very good with blushes um that feels like it's going to blend in quite well in fact let's try and get i can't get a very good visual i don't think um it's blended in really quickly and really well actually so let me just try it somewhere that you might see it a bit better there we go yeah it has blended in quite quickly quite well um i'll give it a go i'm not very good with blushes i don't like using them because i get red natural redness i think it's skin sun damage on my cheek there anyway so i'm always a bit worried about adding to the redness um it looks like it will blend in well i think you can just about see it there um so i will give it a go i don't know where, how i'll get on with it but it's always worth trying new things out because that's how you learn isn't it especially with makeup these days um so i might end up finding that i absolutely adore it and will use it it might be my go-to blush doubt it somehow but you never know right so we're actually on to our last product now so this one's gone quite quick and it is because there's only five products in in the box i'm used to and unboxing the limited editions where there's loads so you know no matter how quickly you race through you're still doing a 26 minute video but this is the last product so let's have a little look it is grace and stella everything is better in pink eye patches full size rrp of three pounds focused on firming and hydrating the under eyes these pretty pink eye patches draw in moisture to even the deepest layers of the skin Powerful antioxidants help protect skin from blue light exposure, whilst other key ingredients help maintain healthy blood circulation and strengthen capilla capillaries, and it's meant to be great for dark circles. So, I do love eye patches, but I do have to be wary because I do have a really sensitive under eye area. These sound like they should be okay, they're more into, although it says firming i think they're into the hydration element as well which for me is important and obviously getting rid of the dark bits under my eyes that's always a good one for me and they will get used i've got quite a few masks to use i haven't been using them as much i've been away for a week which is partly the reason but i try and aim to use a mask of some sort or another at least twice a week um, so i've got a bit of catching up to do anyway and I might give these ones a go. Um, I did look online with these and obviously these. this is just like a one-off pack, hence the value. I think they're put at £3 because normally you buy things like this in packs of I think 10 or 20 packs of these. So, But it's good to try one-offs. I think with eye products you can never really make that quick a judgement with a one-off. But who knows, it might be amazing and I might be back telling you how great it is. So looking at the box as a whole, I think it's not bad. It's not my favourite box ever. Um, as usual, there's a couple of products in here that, that aren't for me, which with glossy boxes almost always the way. So the first one being the Balance Me product, but I do know someone who does use that, so that's quite useful there. The second product, again, the coffee scrub, 
simply not because it's a particularly bad product or anything I just don't like the mess and I would use it if I had nothing else um, to use then we've got the um, the little scrubber thing oh, now I quite like that I'm interested to see how that's going to feel once it's got the cleanser on it it is quite spiky but in a nice sort of way uh, then we've got the the blush which again I'm not sure whether that's for me I'll give it a go but I doubt it will work for me but I could be wrong and then my favorite item I think in the box is actually the eye patches because I like eye patches so it's an okay box it's not horrendous it's not my favorite it's not probably the not the worst I've got to make the decision whether to keep going with glossy box probably start making that decision in the next couple of months I'll see what the next couple of months boxes are like and that will help make that decision I know a lot of people that kind of sort of buy into the getting it one month at a time and seeing how that goes that might be an idea for me it's difficult for me to do that with too many boxes though because I think I'd lose track of them because I tend to subscribe to about seven boxes which sounds excessive but I do love beauty boxes um, not sure what I'm going to do with this one now I hope you enjoyed the video I hope it was a little bit informative I liked I wanted to get the bit in about um, the, uh, the acids because I know that someone had asked me about that before and I kept meaning to, to write it up and email it to them but I've just done it in a video instead now so hopefully it was quite interesting and you'll come back for the next one I think I've got another one in uh, I've got another two boxes to open and I'm hoping to order maybe a couple more in the coming week so there'll be a few more to choose from hopefully I hope you've enjoyed it I hope I've got lots of hopes here lots of hope in the world I hope you have enjoyed it I hope you have a lovely day and I hope to see you here again soon take care Bye.